Hey guys, Alex here, and uh, sorry for my appearance, I kind of just woke up. I wanted to make this a little quick uh, movie review last night when I got home from watching it, but I was kind of sleepy when I got home. Anyhow, last night I had the pleasure of watching Fury, which is this new World War II movie starring Brad Pitt, Shia LaBeouf, um, and a bunch of other notable actors, even the guy from The Walking Dead, John Burnsall, who played Shane. Um, he didn't make it too far in the show. Oh, spoiler. Anyways, uh... Yeah, last night I watched this movie, which was October 17, 2014, when the movie premiered in the United States. And I want to say right now, this is my favorite depiction of World War II combat in a uh, World War II movie. And I've seen a lot of World War II movies. I've seen pretty much every World War II movie. Oh, World War II movie made by uh, British or American production since the 1940s. There might be a few exceptions, but not many. I've also seen a lot of German and uh, Soviet productions as well, but... Suffice it to say, I love watching uh, war movies, and I love what I love World War II movies, especially. Not as much as uh, movies set in antiquity. The fact is, there's a lot more movies based on World War II. Anyhow, um, yeah, this movie it it focuses on uh, on World War II uh, tank combat, which is pretty much um, not a very common thing in World War II movies. Most World War II movies focuses on the infantry aspect of World War II, or maybe even the uh, the war in the air. Uh, so that was pretty refreshing. Another very refreshing thing about this movie is it does not do that freaking overly used and abused uh, handheld shaky camera effect whenever it shows the, uh, the, uh, the action sequences. It does not do that at all, and I love that fact. I hate watching movies where it's just like this with the cameraman. It's uh, it's really cliche when they do that, and most of the time when I see movies like that, I feel like the directors don't want us to see the uh, the action, and when they do that, I just want to walk out of the movie. If they really don't want us to see the movie that badly, then I'll just leave and watch another movie after getting a refund on that movie. I don't want that movie taking my money and taking credit for it. So, um... Another cool thing about this movie is that the the main characters they do make the uh, distinction between the common German uh, soldier versus the more fanatical SS soldiers who are much more hated in the war because they uh, they were they were known for committing a lot of atrocities. So so I'm glad that the uh, the, the characters made that distinction. Um, it's it's really a Brad Pitt's character who makes that distinction. Like when he sees a regular uh, you know German soldier, there's really no reaction. But when he sees anybody wearing an SS uniform, he gets really upset. His blood boils, and he basically wants to kill him. So that takes me to another refreshing aspect about this movie. Um, a lot of these, uh, like the main heroes in this movie, like Brad Pitt and his and his tank crew, they are not saints. They are painted as being uh, good and bad. Like they're very. Uh, they really do walk the line between uh, good and evil. They're very. They make a lot of a. Uh, morally questionable decisions throughout the movie so sometimes you you wonder if they really are good guys but i think the movie did that just to show that all of the combatants whether they be allied or german or whoever um all of them you know they weren't you know one-dimensional they had a lot of uh good and bad aspects to them so uh that's what i like about this movie this is not your traditional world war ii movie where where the good guys are always good that's that's not very realistic so uh, I really like that aspect, and I do I do love uh, Brad Pitt's character in this movie. Like, he does a lot of uh, I guess bad things you can say, but it makes his character even more badass. So I really do like that aspect, and uh, there aren't many Water Two movies that that do that to be honest. Um, and in terms of the uh, the depiction of Water Two combat, it's pretty fantastic all the way up until the uh, the final battle scene. In the final battle scene, there is a reversion to the old Hollywood uh, cliche where you know the good guys gun down you know hundreds of bad guys in like a second. But that's not spoiling anything because uh, that's not exactly what happens in the final battle. But there is kind of a reversion to the old Hollywood cliche about that but that's not a spoiler watch the movie and, and you'll see that i'm not spoiling that for you um so yeah the uh, depiction of water 2 combat is pretty fantastic they actually use a lot of um of military history to uh to help depict their, their battle scenes uh for example there is an old uh like water 2 
adage that it took a uh, five Sherman tanks to take on one German Tiger tank. And this movie does take that to heart. And without spoiling that, I just want to put that out there. Uh, go watch the movie and you are going to be pretty, uh, pretty floored by that aspect. Um, and, and I'm glad they, uh, they actually did some, some actual research here. Speaking of which, this movie actually uses a, a German Tiger tank for, uh, for its battle scenes. And I think I read somewhere that this is the first movie, the only movie that actually shows a real German Tiger tank. So you need to watch this movie even for that aspect. Um, so yeah, all of the, uh, all the action sequences are freaking amazing. Um, you might have some uh, some questionable. Um, I mean, you might you might question the the final battle, and but yeah, it's it's a fantastic production. The acting is is pretty superb. Um, there was one performance I wasn't completely feeling, but overall, it was it was a very fantastic ensemble acting by everybody, especially Brad Pitt's character. He was he was fantastic in this movie. Jeez. Um, and yeah, this movie is very graphic. This is the most graphic depiction of World War II combat I've ever seen in any movie. And as you guys know, I've seen hundreds of these World War II movies, and this is the most graphic. So this is definitely not a date movie, <laughs> unless you want your date to, like, throw up in your stomach. Or, yeah, but, but, I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, um, movie's fantastic. You gotta see it. If you're a World War II buff, this is totally up your alley. I, I'm probably gonna see this movie quite a few more times and I think anybody regardless of their allegiance is going to enjoy this movie they're going to appreciate the fact that that you know it's not your your typical Hollywood fair although there are some Hollywood uh, conventions depicted in this movie um I think that's all that I want to say about this movie and yeah if you see this movie post your thoughts and if you plan to watch this movie let me know and if you don't plan to watch this movie let me know why not and I'll see you guys later. And good job to the movie makers. I enjoyed it.